Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, um, you know, I see these changes that they're doing on Windows 10. Yet I wonder what it's all about, how important it is. When you are roughly a year away from end of support, why changing your account picture and profile and moving it somewhere else? is important you know when we look at the windows development and the changes coming and we look at windows 11 you have these changes that i'm like yeah you've dedicated some guys to change something and you know the profile picture it's left it's right it's in the middle it's uh you tweet the start menu for a little something and it just doesn't matter anymore. First of all, I don't think a lot of people notice. Second of all, you have to wonder, why are you dedicating resource to something that it just doesn't matter? And then you look at what they're doing and you look at some of the, you know, the problems that they created over time. Uh, you look at bad updates. And you're wondering, is there just too many people doing too many different things and not enough people just focusing on what's important? And you got to ask that question because there's just so much um, useless things. I mean, why are you focusing on something like that? Why are you focusing on changing whatever anyways in Windows 10? Why did you reactivate a beta channel? Why are you investing resource and changing what is basically the last year of an operating system? You know, it never happened in the past. In the past, there is the active development phase at the beginning, and then you get the um, last years that are just, you know, giving updates and that's it. Why are you tweaking Windows 10 still a year before it's about to go away? And even if, you know, a lot of people will pay for extension and there's still going to be a lot of people, why are still are you wasting time with that? Why are you not focusing on what people want with Windows 11? Or if not, why don't you f just put all of these people doing these things that are useless and and you know work on windows 12 for something uh, we know that there's a version of windows that's always skipped windows 11 looks like a skipped version somehow um maybe you should stop all of this nonsense focus on making it stable for the rest of its life and focus on something new um, i think that's where we should be if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.